Let's solve this differential equation real quick. We have dp dt equals to k times p times r of rt minus v, and we also have an initial condition, p of 0 is equal to p0. So let's divide both sides by p, multiply dt on both sides. So we have dp over p equals to k cosine of rt minus v, and we have the dt right here. And this way, we can integrate both sides, here and here. On the left-hand side, we have ln absolute value of p, and on the right-hand side, the k is just k, it's a constant, to put it down, cosine of something, where the antiderivative cosine is positive sine. And the input stays the same, just rt minus v. And I can only do that because inside, the derivative is just r, okay? And when you do backwards, the derivative inside is r, we have to divide it by r. So here we have k over r. So that's the antiderivative of this. And we put the plus d1. And let's isolate the p. Do e to the power, so they cancel. And I will do this, e to the power. And we have absolute value of p. This is equal to, notice that e to the constant right here, e to c1, it's another constant. I will call that c2. And the function part stays the same, e to the power. e to the k over r sine of rt minus v. And I have to get rid of the absolute value. So just get rid of this. And technically, I put a plus minus on the right-hand side. And then technically, I'm done with finding the general solution. I will call that p of t. This is plus minus c2. I will call that c3. And the rest, e to the k over r sine of rt minus v. All right, that's a general solution. And now we have to figure out uh, plugging 0 into t and plugging t9 into p and solve for the uh, initial value. And we have what? p of 0 is equal to p0. That means after plugging 0 into this t right here, I will have c3 e to the, r over, e to the k over r sine of r times t but t is equal to 0, so we have r times 0, and then minus v, like this. I need to figure out what c3 is, c3 is in terms of p0. p0 is equal to c3, and notice that this is not entirely just like e to the 0 power, because we have r times 0, this is 0, that's OK, but then technically I still have the, the other stuff, like e to the r, uh, k over r, sine of, technically I only have negative v inside. So unfortunately, this is not just like 1. So you have to do this carefully. And because we have sine of a negative number, I can take the negative out. So this is the same as saying p not on the left hand side still, this is c3 e to the, let me bring this negative to the outside. I can do that because sine is an odd function. So we have k over r sine of v, like that. And to solve for c3, and technically you have to divide both sides by that, right? But then, um, this is technically in the denominator because we have a negative exponent. So technically I will just multiply both sides by that, uh, but with a positive power. e to the positive k over r sine of v. This and that cancel each other out. And we conclude that c3 is equal to p naught right here times that power, e to the k over r sine of v. And notice that the k, r, and v, they are all positive uh, constants. And we are done. I just need to plug in this into the general form. And then I can just you know, write, the equation, uh, write the solution for that. So finally, the answer is p of t, p as a function of time. We have c3, which is equal to this. I will write it down as p naught times that e to the k over r sine of v times this part, which is e to the k over r times sine of rt minus v. And if you want to get the answer in the back of the book, because they have the same base, I can add the exponents up together. And because both of them have k over r as a factor, I can factor it out. So altogether, I can write this as p naught right here, and e, I will factor out the k over r all the way to the front. 
and then let me just write down this first because the book did that. Sine of RT minus V, and then I will add sine of V. And that's it. This right here is the answer.